All right, so here's an intro video for the 25-acre property in Wright County uh, with the drilled well, uh, heavily wooded property, extremely, extremely private. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it here. We're using the MapRite program, which is, is fantastic. Um, you can get the free app uh, when you go to view the property, and um, we can get a hold of MapRite and have them actually email you the, the link for this particular interactive map that we're looking at. Open the email on whatever device has the app, click on the link, um, it will ask you if you want to open the link within the app to which you'll say yes and then not only will this um, actual map pop up on your phone but there'll be a little colored dot which is using the GPS on your phone and it'll show you right where you are it makes it so easy to get to the property especially on one like this that's a little complicated and has some different easement roads you have to turn the correct direction so it's great for that and it's great for being on the property you can tell um, with pretty good accuracy right where you are so you can walk the boundaries you can check everything over uh, so yeah, that's map right. So really quickly here, as we try to try to keep everything um, fairly quick, <laughs> here's the town of Hartville, a uh, nice small town. It's the county seat for Wright County, so about 45 miles uh, east or northeast of Springfield. Great location to get the property from Hartville. Go north out of town on Highway 5. Right away, you'll take a right onto Z, Highway Z. Go about two miles. Take a right onto Highway E. And then I actually don't have the exact measurements, but I think we can um, get a good idea here on map, right? Might have to do a little bit of math. Okay, so 19,000, about 20,000 feet. So just shy of four miles, this is showing, uh, is where you're going to go north onto the start of the gravel easement road, and that's going to take you to the property. So map, right? Um, if you can get it, fantastic. Uh, if you just can't or it doesn't work, uh, at a minimum, please print out um, the maps and directions uh, from this listing because this uh, the system of easement roads, once you get to the wooded area, um, it can get really confusing. All we've done here is we've marked the uh, the pertinent easement roads. So if you have map right, as long as you're staying on these roads, you're going to get to the property. Uh, otherwise, it, I mean, it definitely can get confusing. So as we uh, come to the property, so we go north off Highway E, we go about a quarter mile, uh, we'll go left and then follow this main road all the way down. We're actually going to cross um, a small creek bed called Crooked Creek. Generally has about three or four inches of water in it. Uh, and then we're going to go up a hill. And once we get to the top of the hill, we're looking right at the property. The road goes left and right. Uh, either way, uh, you're looking at the property. If you go right, obviously the property will be on the left and the road continues and, and dead ends after about half a mile. If you go to the left, that's what's going to take you in kind of to the main the main part of the property. We might have to switch base maps. That shows it a little better. Switch to a, a winter view, that's okay. So we get to the top of the hill, you go left, and you just go a few hundred feet and you'll see the uh, the gate on the right. And that's the start of the private driveway. Um, so get a hold of us, we'll give you the combo for the gate. You're certainly welcome to go in and check it out. I'm trying to get to a, a base map that I like. And that shows the roads a little better. Uh, that kind of shows it, that's better. Okay, these base maps aren't extremely recent, but I, they do a good enough job showing the road system. So this is the private driveway. That's no longer the road easement. Um, go through the gate and follow that back about a quarter mile, and you'll get to the main building area. Um, so this uh, was either leased or under contract for quite a few years, and there was someone living out there. And so that's kind of what you see in all these photos, the various buildings and sheds and stuff. Um, some of that is still there. Some of it is not. Check out the ground video uh, and the drone videos to, to see the recent... Um, what it looks like recently, uh, this, uh, this is a mobile home that's still there. It is of no value. Uh, there's appears to be an RV there. There are some different sheds. Um, I mean, the thing is it, it definitely needs cleanup, but this is an awesome building site. It is supremely private. You've got flat open areas mixed with mature timber mixed with, uh, uh I think there's a small pond and to cap it all off right about here, just 50 or 100 feet south of the of the mobile home is a newer drilled well. Uh, and so even though this is an off-grid property, uh, the guy that was out there ran the drilled well and ran everything off of uh, a generator. He may have used solar or wind power too. I'm not sure about that, but uh, everything worked really nicely for him. You can see a couple other trails. The, the majority of the property is wooded. Uh, so we've got some nice hardwood trees as well as probably some pine and cedar. Um, I wish we had more of a, maybe Google shows a summertime view. Well, that's even worse. So 
yeah, I mean, you can see this needs cleanup. This one doesn't show the, the mobile home. Um, but check out the videos in the listing to, to really take a look at what's going on out here. Um, but absolutely private. Oh, let's do a topo map because this property lays really, really nicely. Okay, if you're familiar with topo maps, this makes sense. If you're not, then it, it does not. Um, but each, the distance between two lines uh, is an elevation change of about 20 feet. So when the lines are close, something is fairly steep. When the lines are far apart, uh, then something is fairly flat. So these two dots that you see are kind of small, you could almost call them knolls, uh, like hilltops, but they're, they're very gradual. And they appear to be really about the highest points around. Um, this is a small draw uh, that goes through the property. And right about here is where you'll find the pond. So that makes sense because this draw would have some drainage. Um, the building site itself is in here somewhere. Basically, the property is quite level other than this little valley area that leads to the pond. And as you go back to the western part, there's another small draw. Um, but otherwise, the bulk of the property is, is either level or just gradually um, rolling. So very usable property. I mean, if you look at, at some of the other land around here, this is pure Ozarks. So to get 25 acres with this much usable land is, is pretty rare. I mean, here's a whole 160-acre portion that only has, you know, 10 or 20 acres um, flat enough to, to be a, a, a good building site. So, I mean, you could turn this into pasture, a um, lot, of, lot of different options on this. Um, once the property's been paid for in full, you can cut the timber, you can sell the timber, you can use it for firewood, whatever you want to do when the property's been paid for in full uh, while you're making payments on it to us. Uh, you cannot cut or remove or disturb uh, any timber with a stump diameter of greater than eight inches, and that's when measured at ground level. Uh, so if you need to clear out uh, some larger timber to improve the building site or to make some trails, um, all you need to do is, is mark those trees with some marking ribbon, get a hold of us, and we'll ask one of our guys to come out there and look. If everything looks okay, then we can give you written permission to, to remove those specific trees. So, I mean, you do have that option, um, or you can just pay it off and, and uh, you know, do whatever you want with the timber because there is some nice timber on this property you'll see that in the videos and you, you'll see that when you get out there so yeah pretty unusual for us to have something this big this private um, and then to have a drilled well a newer drilled well on top of it uh, that's pretty amazing this is the only one we've ever had like this so if, if this is what you've been looking for um, let us know if you have any questions you can check instantacres.com to see if this property is available uh, ultimately, you do have to go to our actual website at instantacres.com, and that's updated by the minute. Uh, that will show you what's available, and if you don't see it, then unfortunately it's not. But um, if you have any questions, let us know. We would love to speak with you. You can get us by phone or by email at sales at instantacres.com. But ultimately, go to our website, instantacres.com, and that will have 